The 911 call came from here. An unidentified black man crazy dead shit. from an apparent overdose found inside the West Hollywood home of prominent Democratic activist Ed Buck. It's the second time a body has been found inside his apartment. Jamel Moore, an escort, OD'd there in 2017. Overnight, protests erupting. Advocates from the gay and black community accusing Buck of using political influence to elude arrest. It is exceedingly rare to have in, a, in an 18 month time span, uh, two individuals, two death investigations from the same apartment. Buck has rubbed shoulders with high profile Democrats, but made headlines. All right, let me get a story. Let me get a story. Let me get a story. So, it's underreported news out there everywhere. Shit that you wonder, like, why is this not getting like world, you know, exposure or, 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 or mainstream media exposure? And it's because a lot of these people that be doing shit like this, they be having powerful friends. So the story is, it's this Democratic donor, a guy who um, um, donates money and and helps push uh, Democrats. You know, he's like, yeah, Democrats, everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Democrats, 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 Democrats. So he knows some very, very powerful people. But behind the scenes, allegedly, this guy likes to have sex with poor gay black men and have them. He drugs the, the story. The story from my, from what I've been investigating is he drugs them up. Right. He'll meet a, um, a black homeless dude or a, a black, you know, guy like that. And he'll say, listen, I got these drugs and, you know, come over my crib and we'll party. And he gets off like sexual gratification from like watching them get high and get super high and get all. And then he takes advantage of them, some weird shit. So two bodies was found in his apartment. From 2017, Miguel Almaguer, NBC News, West Hollywood. Hey, NBC. Hold up. Now listen to this. Ed Buck is almost never seen in public, and he really hasn't made any public statements whatsoever regarding oh, this investigation this. into himself. And when we showed up here at his residence tonight, he was not happy to see us. He said he doesn't want to talk. He told us to get a life, and he didn't say anything that could shed any light into why two gay black men have now been found dead inside of his apartment. Mr. Buck, we're with Fox 11. Just like to talk to you for one quick moment, give you a chance. Yes, you do. I don't want to talk to you. You have nothing to say? Two people dead inside of your apartment just looking to give you a chance to respond. Do you find that to be a coincidence, sir? Democratic donor Ed Buck, apparently not in the mood to speak with Fox 11 Wednesday night. Why will you not answer any questions, sir? We'll leave the property. We'll leave the property. We're walking out. You have nothing to say? No comment? No comment whatsoever. Buck's refusal to comment comes as he's under investigation by the LA County Sheriff Department's Homicide Bureau after two gay black men, Jamel Moore and Timothy Dean, were both found dead inside of his West Hollywood apartment within a year and a half of each other. More crazy, right? Crazy. So you wonder, you know, um, and, and, and you'd be surprised. So I started stumbling on news like this when I first really, really started um, um, taking boxing seriously. And I started saying, you know what, I'm going to, you know, like be like a boxing journalist and cover boxing. But then I started um, watching the news more and more. And I started understanding, like I started watching um, um, news more so on YouTube and on the Internet rather than mainstream media. And I started realizing there's a lot of people out there like this, like powerful people. Very, very powerful people that are sexual deviants. You know, that are closeted homosexuals. You know, and they're doing shit that if you knew their job title, you'd be like, what the fuck are you doing? So this is just the beginning. Uh, some of his alleged victims have been like writing journals and, you know, about how like he likes to like, spank off while he watching you you know get high for the first time is weird 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 shit but as as shocked as i am looking around on youtube literally this it's like it's, it's underreported news Black lives, we matter here. Black lives, we matter here. activists gather in front of democratic donor ed buck's west hollywood apartment monday night 
as they call for his prosecution. Arrest Ed Buck, prosecute Ed Buck, convict. and then the jury needs to convict Ed Buck. This man is a danger to our community. Yes, we are not even talking about the half of what he's doing. Early Monday morning, first responders were at Buck's residence yet again after another black man was found dead inside his Crazy. apartment for the second time in less than two years. In July 2017, male escort Jamel Moore was also found dead inside Buck's apartment. The medical examiner later determined he died as a result of an accidental meth overdose. Moore oh, you gotta listen to this part. Unfortunately, I can't, you know, I gotta be careful with showing you this stuff because of copyright, so that's why I put the little disclaimer over it, but I'm gonna make sure as time goes on, um, make this a little more transparent. Moore had written in his journal that Ed Buck had injected him with crystal meth for the first time, that it hurt, and that he was becoming addicted to the pain. He also wrote, quote, if it didn't hurt so bad, I'd kill myself, but I'll let Ed Buck do it for now. Only Fox 11 obtained surveillance video revealing the moment Moore's body was taken away while Ed Buck spoke with deputies responding to the scene. At one point, another black man could be seen showing up to try to come up to Buck's apartment mm. while deputies were still there on scene. Mm. Prosecutors mm -hmm. later declined to charge Buck, citing a lack of evidence and with... Jeez. So, legally, it's probably because, you know, like, if he's giving them the drugs and they're injecting themselves, then, you know, it is technically legally, I guess, an accidental overdose. But the fact that he's, you know, if like, oh, you know, and then the fact that he does have a lot of power. It's crazy, man. T Street Uncut, man. We're going to be covering a lot more shit like this, like while mixing in, you know, our combat sports news and everything. Getting it popping. Please subscribe.